We have brand new video tonight from a business owner who witnessed a police chase spanning multiple counties in our area, ending near Hartsfield Jackson International Airport. The Coweta County Sheriff's Office says the suspect shot twice at deputies from his vehicle before crashing here in Atlanta. New at 11, our Paulo Soro spoke with that witness. Abdul Khan owns this Shell gas station. He tells me he was standing here along North Central Avenue when he saw several police cruisers going down the road chasing a driver. He tells me the pursuit eventually ended further down the street. And there were about 10 police cars. Cruiser after cruiser chasing a driver across multiple counties and reaching speeds of 130 miles per hour. Georgia State Patrol car, it got stuck over here, right in front of us, right here and the cars were just flying by. Abdul Khan recorded one of the final moments of that pursuit, which began on I-85 North. It was really, really, really crazy because uh, there was kids walking over here as well as during the time when the, the kids are coming out of their bus. The Coweta County Sheriff's Office says a deputy pulled the car over on the highway. The driver stopped, but when the deputy approached by foot, he sped off. The Sheriff's Office says the driver fired at least two rounds towards the deputy. I thought it was a shooting. I thought uh, maybe uh, somebody got killed or something. Moments later, the pursuit ends in a crash on the I-85 ramp at Sylvan Road in Atlanta, close to Khan's Hapeville gas station. It's a scary time these days. Uh, in the past couple of years, the, the crime has increasing. The sheriff's office says the deputy and the suspect were not injured. The suspect was taken to Coweta County Jail. I hope our politicians can do more to keep Atlanta safe. The GBI is now investigating the incident.